Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It's bright and early today. We're here at Copacabana, and this is the Bolivian side of Lake Titicaca. Mm -hmm. We are going to an island called Isla del Sol, which is the island of the sun. And we almost didn't think we would be able to go today. We woke up and there was thunder, lightning, there was all kinds of rain. It was pouring it was rain. It was pouring outside, but it's really cleared out now and we're excited to see if we can take the trip today. So the island is somewhere off in the distance over there. We have just arrived in Isla del Sol and the sun came out just in time. Now we're going to go visit some ruins and then we're planning to hike from the north end of the island to the south end. The first thing that struck us about Isla del Sol were the landscapes. We had to climb some pretty steep inclines to reach the top of the island, but once we did, we got some incredible views of our surroundings. We also enjoyed making friends with lots of animals along the way, including sleepy pigs basking in the sunshine in a mix of horses and donkeys. While we enjoyed our day trip to Isla del Sol, we did feel our visit was a bit rushed. We managed to walk the length of the island, but we only made it back on the boat with 10 minutes to spare. Crossing the island takes a lot longer than two operators let on, so if you really want to visit and you don't mind a remote setting, you may want to consider spending a night or two on Isla del Sol. So hello from Copacabana. Hello. We're not in the famed beach from Rio de Janeiro. This is actually a small little town on the Bolivian side of Lake Titicaca. And we've been spending the past five days here. Yeah. Just relaxing, getting some rest, and we actually left the vlogging till the very last day. I know, unfortunately, it's the rainy day, but... Yes, it's very know, overcast. What can you do? We're gonna go out there and show you the town anyway. Yep. Here is the main drag of town. You're gonna find your restaurants, bars, and live entertainment. And lots of hippies! So we seem to have found a little food market in here. Want to lead us in? Yeah, and I overlooked this place before. Like I've been wandering around here for several days and I didn't even notice this place. So this is a hidden gem on our final day here Ooh. in that you absolutely must try when you visit Copacabana and that is rainbow trout fish straight out of Lake Titicaca over there. So you could choose an ordinary restaurant to have trout but where are we instead? Yeah we're along the boardwalk and there are a gazillion restaurants literally lined along here. They're actually like not even restaurants they're more like little no. stands yeah, exactly. you know. Yeah, just like what you're seeing right here. Tarp walls. And, and honestly, we don't know where to go. We just walked by a whole bunch of them and decided, okay, let's pick the last one. Why don't we go there? Yeah. The food has arrived. So if you look down at our plate, here is our rainbow trout. And we have some french fries. We have a bit of salad. And over on this side, there's some rice. So it seems like a well-balanced meal, right? Yeah. The trout looks good. Ready to dig cool. into that. So this is the first bite. Mm -hmm. So what is this called locally? Trucha. 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 Let's see. Mm. You know, the South American trout reminds me a lot of salmon. It's like the same color, has a really similar flavor. It's just a smaller fish. But it's really nice. Yes. You know, just grilled, very simple recipe, a little bit of lemon drizzled on top, and it's perfect. Perfecto. Mm. 
So some of the restaurants in Copacabana are really hit and miss. Some of them really cater towards backpackers, and we've honestly had some of our worst meals in a long time here. Uh -huh. You had the, what, the runny spaghetti? Oh, yes. <laughs> But you know what? Trout is one dish that has not been messed up, messed up that, wherever that, we tried yeah, it. That's the exact point I wanted to make. Trout has been awesome everywhere we've had it, so I have high expectations for my yes. first bite over here. Always order the specialty. Yes, order the local specialty. That is our travel tip of the day. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good. That's so good. Melt in your mouth, good. Really, really tasty. I grew up on Vancouver Island eating a lot of fish, so I know what good quality fish tastes like, and this is excellent. Oh, so he's a connoisseur all of a sudden. A little bit of a fish knob. Ah. So this is a very unusual dining location, is yeah. it not? Yeah, we've got packs of stray dogs, mm -hmm. and we have teenagers hanging out on their motorbikes and trying to act cool. Yes, and we're breathing all the fumes from their bikes yep. over there, over there. That's our side dish. Not interested. This one doesn't like fish skin. How about you, friend? Do you like fish? Fish? Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Well, you know what? The fish was pretty good. Um, I have to say the rice was a little bit bland. It wasn't really seasoned. The salad was okay. It's just lettuce and tomatoes, and then we had some greasy fries. But I'd say the fish was the start of the meal, and it's a very budget-friendly lunch. We only paid 25 bolivianos, which. Oh, no, you do the conversion. That's like just over three dollars. Over three dollars. <laughs> there you go. Not bad at all. Our meal now it's time to go paddle boat riding because we're all about cheesy adventure activities mm, maybe we can get one that looks like a swan or a duck that would be fun yeah let's do it check out our sweet ride we are riding a swan around lake titicaca for 15 bolivianos that'll get you 30 minutes on this little boat and honestly, it's kind of an old boat and it doesn't steer very well. Yeah, so I don't know if we're gonna like bump into things or crash and or drown or... We forgot to ask for life jackets as well. Whoops. But it's shallow, relatively shallow, right? Like we mentioned at the start of our vlog, we haven't really been doing a whole lot in Copacabana. We've just been resting and relaxing, and the highlight has actually been our accommodations. We're staying at a pretty cool place called Las Olas, where they have like these weird cottages. Some of them look like tree houses, some of them are like little spirals, and they have domes, and I don't know, it just looks like this fantasy land. So we're gonna take you up and show you our cottage. Yes, and we have some amazing views as well. We do, great sunset views, another bonus. So this has been our home for the past five days. Our humble abode, right there. Yeah, and we get hammocks, and we have a pretty cool view of Copacabana. So here we are, just swaying on the hammocks. Yep. What are your final impressions of Copacabana since we're leaving tomorrow? Well, Copacabana was everything we wanted it to be, basically. We had been hiking in Machu Picchu, you know, hiking the Inca Trail, and then we had a really busy hiking tour while we were visiting Lake Titicaca mm -hmm. on the Peruvian side. So we just wanted to come to a place that was really chill, that had a kind of a relaxed vibe, and that was affordable, and Copacabana checked off all three of those boxes. And how about you, Miss Audrey? Miss Audrey. What's the question? Question is, what are your final thoughts on your time here in Copacabana? 
Final thoughts. I, I also agree this is a great place to relax because there isn't a whole lot to do here. I mean, aside from wandering the town, maybe taking a side trip to Isla del Sol. So yeah, great place to just rest and soak in the sunshine. Only The only tip that I will share is there are so many hippies here and they love having their drum and guitar circles right at bedtime. So like sometimes you wake up at two, three, four in the morning and you can still hear them going. So maybe choose a place that's like away from the beach. Or pack your earplugs. Yeah, there you go.